You know that feeling you get with incredible music, writing or art? It's a feeling of awe. You yearn to emulate it, but you also fear you won't compare. This fear can stop you before you get started. This problem has been discussed by John Favakey and Jordan Peterson. This video is my attempt at a solution to help you respond to beauty with your own creative work. I'm going to offer three specific strategies. But before I do that, here is the general framework. You only see these great works when they are complete, fully conceived and polished to perfection. The secret is to break them down into their parts. These strategies will do that for you. Strategy one, get curious about process. The arts are exceptional, but in a way they are the same as any other field of work. You can learn how beauty is made. Beethoven didn't just sit down and command a symphony from his pen. He would walk around for days with different versions playing in his head, rearranging the parts until he was satisfied. These works are built up in stages, and it can be just as interesting to learn how they progressed as to consume the finished product. In this exercise, you can do two things. Firstly, you can learn from past masters to build your own system for taking a piece from first draft to final form. The second thing you can do is to isolate all the individual skills that are needed at each stage and to practice them, just like you would practice an instrument. For writing, for example, these skills would be pacing, character development, plot structure, etc. The second strategy is to get to know the person behind the work. A person is much more accessible than a masterpiece. Take a look at their photos. Get to know their life history. You will see that they have flaws, obstacles, hardships, just like anyone else does. And the real beauty here is that you get to see this artist that you normally put on a pedestal, just the same way as you would look at yourself or one of your friends. The third strategy is to adopt trial and error. No one's first draft is perfect. No one's final draft is perfect. Our aim instead of perfection should be learning and having fun. Once your work is complete, latch onto one or two things that you do find beautiful and carry those around with you like treasures in your pocket because they are your proof of concept of what you are capable of producing. Above all, judge yourself on the fact that you sat down and did it. Artistic work is less about the results per se than enjoying your identity as someone who tries to add to the sum total of good things in the world. Then you will get a big reward. Once you have your creative practice, you can look at this group of creators and say that you are a current in the same stream. You'll be walking down the street to your favorite piece of music and you'll stand up a little taller. Or you'll be reading a beautiful line and you will laugh to yourself because you know what it's like to be turning words around for their ideal shape and this person managed it. I hope this helps you with your response to beauty. If you would like more content to boost your creative practice, you can subscribe. And if you know a creative person who needs that little push just to get started, then I would love you to share this video with them. See you next time.